This is about steps starting from fertilization till embryonic development during pregnancy in human female. Now coming to the steps of steps the name of the steps. First step is copulation. Second step insemination. Third step fertilization fourth step cleavage cleavage means mitotic cell division fourth fifth step formation of blastomere sixth step formation of merula seventh one formation of blastocyst this blastocyst contain inner cell mass. It is the eighth step. Ninth one, implantation. Tenth, formation of chorionic villi. Eleventh step, formation of placenta. Twelfth step, formation. Twelfth step is formation of ectoderm formation of ectoderm and endoderm from inner cell mass 13th step is development of Mesoderm in between these two less. Fourteenth step is formation or development of tissues leading to formation of organs, later limbs and other body parts or in the fetus from ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm means three, these three layers. Also another type of a cell is present that is called stem cell stem cell which leads to formation of all the organs and limbs which can proliferate or differentiate into any type of cells. Stem cells can differentiate into any type of cell. Now coming to each step. What is each one? Copulation is the process of inserting the process of inserting penis that is the external sex organ in male inserting penis inside vagina of that is external genitalia of female during intercourse. Now coming to insemination. What is insemination? Insemination is process of producing and releasing releasing semen semen containing sperm So, insemination is process of releasing semen from penis into vagina. Then fertilization. Fertilization is the process of fusion 
of male and female gamete that is sperm and ovum leading to formation of zygote both sperm and ovum are haploid cell when they uh, fuse they form diploid zygote now coming to the detail about this fertilization or steps of fertilization during fertilization what happens first as i told first the sperm is released inside uh, the vagina it comes it uh, swim past uh, the cervix and it reaches sperm reaches fallopian tube that is uh, the part of fallopian called a uh, tube called isthmus ampulla junction isthmus ampulla junction at the same time ovum also reaches same place that is east mass ampulla junction so i repeat ovum also reaches east mass ampulla junction in the fallopian tube at the same time leads to fusion of both male and female gamete that is sperm and ovum before this fusion the sperm has to fuse before the fusion what happens so before the fusion before fusion so it is the basically the third step before fusion enzyme released from acrosome part of sperm breaks zona pellucida zona pellu cida present outside the uh, graphene follicle of ovum only one sperm can break the membrane that is zona pellucida of the ovum then fusion of both the gametes takes place leading to formation of zygote this also requires completion of meiotic division of secondary oocytes and uh, this leads to Uh, unequal uh, division and formation of second polar body and haploid ovum which is called ooted now the gender of the male uh, the zygote is determined means zygote for uh, which uh, further divides and d- divides and divides and then develops uh, the b- baby before childbirth the gender of the baby is or the sex of the baby is determined by the presence of x or y chromosome in uh, the zygote so if the zygote carries xx chromosome it develops into a female baby and if it is xy chromosome then it develops into a male baby now coming to the next part that is cleavage so what is cleavage cleavage is mitotic division of the zygote while it moves toward the uterus now this also divides divided into steps first step 
once mitotic division starts forms eight to forms uh, up to uh, 16 cells eight to 16 cells formed this these cells are called these cells are called blastomeres then next step each blastomere means um, each 10 to 16 blastomere can uh, collectively called collectively called morula now morula further divides morula further divides and form blastocysts cysts so morula further divides and form a uh, blastocyst then what happens the blastomeres in blastocyst are arranged at the outer layer this is called trophoblast then an inner group of cells attached to the trophoblast is called inner cell mass this inner cell mass gets differentiated and forms embryo it gets attached to the the trophoblast get attached to the endometrium after the attachment the uterine cells divide rapidly and covers blastocyte as a result blastocyte becomes embedded in endometrium uterus this process is called em implantation it leads to pregnancy now coming to the next part after implantation finger like projections appear on the trophoblast this is called chorionic villi it is surrounded by uterine tissue and maternal blood and these two structures become interjoined and intermixed they are mixed with each other in such a way they form a structural and functional unit between the developing embryo and maternal body this unit is called placenta what is the function of placenta supply oxygen and nutrients to the embryo and uh, remove all waste materials including carbon dioxide produced by the embryo now coming to the next part next step that is immediately after the implantation inner cell mass differentiates into outer layer called ectoderm and inner layer called endoderm then in between one layer develops or appears which is called mesoderm the function of these three layers is to give rise to all the tissues then organs in adults again uh, uh, about stem cell i said now coming to the each in each stage or uh, during the uh, nine months of pregnancy what happens in the first month heart the embryo's heart is formed in the second month the heart sound can be uh, heard carefully through the stethoscope after the first trimester most major organs are formed example limbs external genital organs after the fifth month appearance of hair on the head after second trimester the body is covered with fine hair hair eyelids separate and eyelashes formed now coming to the hormones of hormones involved Horm hormones 
hormones involved so the name of the hormones involved are human chorionic gonadotropin hch human placental lactogen estrogen progesterone and also during the birth or just before the birth a hormone ca- called relaxin is also secreted by ovary now relaxin hch and hpl are only produced during pregnancy in a woman but level of estrogen and progesterone cortisol prolactin thyroxine etc are increased several folds in maternal blood now why because they support fetal growth so human uh, chorionic gonadotropin human placental lactogen estrogen progesterone as well as elastin are the hormones produced during pregnancy